Welcome back to day two of Hardcore Skyblock. Now, before we get into this video, YouTube is telling me 95% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button because it helps me out a ton. Now, in today's episode, I am going to focus mainly on skills. Now, let's start off by claiming this for a pretty decent diamond upgrade i mean it wasn't really like low but it's much better now and also redstone up to level seven now in today's episode i think we're going to start off with enchanting because i haven't exactly done this today and there we go enchanting 18 and before i forget we're going to type slash death count just to start off with a zero death count of the series and we should probably work on foraging and then we'll move on to something maybe fishing but i don't think fishing quite yet there's nothing wrong with fishing but i think we're going to go for combat and the saving grace recipe which we're getting close but we're still not there and there we go foraging level 20 which i think is where we stop foraging for a little while now i think it's time to work on combat as well as getting that saving grace recipe and i guess getting some summoning eyes in the meantime which i'm probably just gonna cut back after i do this grind because it'd be pretty boring to watch and we just got combat level 19 which means one more level until we can go to the Zealot Bruiser hideout. And that's just going to be nice because I'm going to get a lot more coins there than I am in here. And yes, Alchemy level 22 and Sheep level 65. So I think I might end up getting Wise Dragon Armor pretty soon because when I want to go do Slayer, I need a better set for outside the end. There we go. I think my health and defense are pretty much the same, but... 88,000 damage, yes. Okay, it even went up in the end, but the good news is it should be doing this probably close to this much damage outside the end, where before it would have been close to half of this. So I have pretty good confidence that we might even be able to do a tier 4 Revenant boss. Um, I'm not going to try it until I get the saving grace, because that's just too much of a risk. So I just got combat level 20, and that means we can join the Zealot Bruiser hideout. And I am able to one tap because of the gear that I have right now, which is a little bit overpowered, but I think it's great. And there we go, Ender Pearl Collection level 9, which means we now have the Saving Grace recipe. And another thing that I can do now that I have combat 20 is get the Sighted Reforge using Ender Monocles. So I went ahead and bought some Talismans to upgrade my magical power. Nothing special, nothing worth much, but it is an upgrade nonetheless. And now I am taking on a tier 4 Revenant. I just got a Saving Grace, so it shouldn't be too risky. Um, it doesn't look like he's actually doing almost any damage. Maybe a little bit. I can't really sit in a corner too long because otherwise he'll do that and shoot me across. Which, that really hurts. And wow, this... I mean, the damage is working and he's getting low, but I'm also getting pretty low, which is not good. So I'm going to try and stay pretty far back so that I can do this. And... Let's see, can we get it? All right. Tier 4 Revenant complete. It could have been a little bit better, but we did get there in the end. And now I'm on to fishing, which I have bought an ice rod here as well as a challenging rod, but I can't quite use that yet. I just got fishing level 9, and I'm just going to keep fishing for a little bit. I think I might take a little break at 10 because this is pretty boring, and there's no real need for it at the moment. So I was just minding my own business fishing, and someone came up here and they wanted to give me salmon armor, which I don't really see any reason I shouldn't just accept it. So thank you for that, sir. That was very nice. So I just got the fishing level 10, and now I just purchased a level 81 legendary rabbit. And obviously I'm going to be using this for farming, and now it's time to go to the garden. Now instead of boring you with the very slow progression of farming, basically what I did was I got farm armor, as well as an advanced gardening hoe and i basically maxed out the wheat carrot and potato collections and i started out on the sugarcane and a couple other collections but that got me all the way up to farming 23 as well as garden level 8 which is where i started to take a break for a little while 
So I started launching bat fireworks, and it is way more profit than I ever expected. So I've been looking at the price of bat person armor, and I have just enough to get one piece of bat person armor. And honestly, it looks insane for flipping. So I'm going to try and flip a little bit and see what happens. So the hour directly before the spooky festival is just overpowered for flipping. Like I started with 500,000 coins and here I am with almost 9 million coins. Now if you look at the calendar, there are quite a few more events coming up all because of Halloween. And I think I'm going to try and flip for most of those. But for now, I'm going to turn this money into a booster cookie, which will be very helpful for skill experience. And I can just get that money back during the next spooky events. And now this time, I actually have more time to flip because it is just the beginning of the hour before the spooky event. So now I'm just going to start flipping and see how much money I can make crafting bat person armor. It's insane because every single piece of armor is like over a million coins profit. And they sell basically instantly. So I'm already up to 7.3 mil. But if we look at my auction house, it's actually a little bit crazy because I have 14 other pieces waiting to sell. I just made 70 million coins in about one hour just before the spooky event. You can do this on a brand new profile. This is absolutely overpowered. And the last of it just sold, which brings us up to 120 million coins. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is just overpowered. So the great spook just started, and unfortunately bat person armor is just not selling as fast this event. It's still pretty good, and it's easily profit, but it is just pretty slow. So I did a little bit of grinding off camera. Basically what I did here is I bought a bunch of minions, for a pretty decent price, a little bit under 50%. And also the tier 12 melon minion that you see in this clip is actually mithril infused. And it was just, I, I think I got it for like two mil total. And also of course I did craft some minions because it's pretty useless to just buy minions if you don't craft them as well because you need those minion slots. So along with those minion slots, I ended up buying a glacial scythe, which I'm going to be using for zealots. Now this is better than my Aurora Staff because the Aurora Staff is super slow and if you see this Glacial Scythe, it can basically shoot instantly. And I just bought both Aurora and Crimson Armor, so now I have a decent melee set that I can use for Slayers as well as a really good mage set. So I just ran through the entrance and floor 1 in random dungeon parties. Now, it was super easy, but I don't think I would be able to do Floor 2 yet. So I'm going to claim up these minions, and I think that is going to do it for today's episode. Now, it is the end of the episode, so I'm going to type slash death count, which I just did. And as you can see, I still have zero deaths. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.